There is an all-out assault on the candidacy of Kamala Harris right now by Republicans. And there's a, a series of groups out there that are, that are attempting to discredit and um, attack her. There's racism, certainly misogyny. And there is a concerted effort underway by white Christian nationalist males to discredit her, to use their influence as religious figures to justify in the minds of Christians of not just not supporting Kamala Harris based on her policies, but to not vote for her and to denigrate her based on the fact that she's a woman. Not that she's not qualified because she's, uh, her policies are too liberal or they just fundamentally disagree with the direction she wants to bring America, but because she's a woman. That is enough for them to disqualify her from the presidency. And I got two clips I'm gonna show you right now. One is a guy I talk about a lot when I break out the old uh, bat phone to Jesus, a self-proclaimed prophet of God. Well, both of these dipshits. Uh, Lance Wall now and Joel Webin. Let's begin with Joel Webin, a man who is afraid of people who wear Hindu garb around his kids, a man who constantly talks about revival and what revival will look like. I'm gonna do a video for this weekend that you should definitely watch, but in it, he talks about what revival to him looks like. If you think about what revival is in your mind, in an evangelical, you know, Protestant Christianity kind of usage, uh, to him, revival for Jesus uh, is mass deportation. And what's the other thing? Oh, and women getting death row for murdering their kids, meaning having an abortion at any stage of a pregnancy whatsoever. This is Joel Webin. And this is his opinion on women in power. And again, using that word that resonates with Christians, Protestant Christians, evangelical Christians, revival. And he ties it to Kamala Harris. Watch this. We need to win. We need to wield power righteously. The Christian, uh, uh, the Christian mantra as it comes to power is not to forsake power, but to rule righteously. It's not to forsake rule, but to rule right. righteously. And so in that, I said, I want to win. I want Christians to have power. And with that power, I want it to be wielded righteously. What does that mean? It means crushing our enemies mm -hmm. and rewarding our friends. My prayer, in addition to that, is that God would give us stomachs for revival. Yeah. And you know what that, that prayer, essentially what that prayer means? Um, at some level, what it means is um, that, that we would not have female leadership. <laughs> revival to this weakling, to this abject coward. He is afraid of women in leadership. Revival to him, this guy who uh, wants to enact the Handmaid's Tale in reality in America. He wants to be one of the commanders, Joel Webin. You know what you're hiding under that beard, brother. Uh, he wants not only to crush his enemies, you know, spoken like Jesus would speak, crush my enemies. He wants to reward his friends. He's just admitting to the cronyism that he wants to put in place, but only for the cohort of white Christian nationalist, straight white dudes. This is who he is. They are petrified at the prospect of a woman president. They are petrified at the prospect of a black woman president. It, it, it shakes them to their core. It rattles their faith in revival. Same with uh, Lance Wall now, who's going along with some of the same just tepid, weak-ass attacks on Kamala Harris, calling her someone who has the spirit of Jezebel. I don't know what faith tradition you grew up in, but I grew up in a wacky one where everything had a spirit attached to it. You got the spirit of rebellion. I was told one time by, a, by my youth pastor that I had the spirit of rebellion, just like my mother. 
fucking idiots is what these people are. Uh, anyway, so here's Lance Wall now. I well, just blast from the past in real time, everybody. Uh, here's Lance Wall now talking about this spirit of Jezebel that apparently has uh, possessed or whatever Kamala Harris and making her ineligible or unqualified to be president of the United States. She represents uh, something which I believe is probably the amalgam of the spirit of Jezebel and in a way that'll be even, even more ominous than Hillary because she'll bring a racial component and she's younger. And so uh, this is going to be, this is going to be a, a real thing to rise above that. So in the spirit, you know, as a Christian, I'm describing to you warfare on two levels, right? They're afraid. They're afraid. Not just of the Jezebel spirit, but also the fact that she's a, a woman of color and she's younger. They know that these are things that are not going to bode well for a candidacy of Donald Trump as he talks about being a Christian, yet supporting all of the fascist, uh, anti-Christian policies that Donald Trump wants to enact. And as a Christian, you know I'm talking about warfare on two levels. He's referencing a scripture in the New Testament that talks about we fight not against principalities and powers, but against spiritual wickedness in high places. Again, from my faith tradition that I grew up in, uh, a lot of these people believe there is a, a, a war in the spirit realm that is taking place invisibly all around us at all times. At, at Jesus Camp, Youth youth Alive, it was called. We went to Seattle every year, every summer. At Pacific Lutheran University, we attended this Jesus Camp. And uh, one of the women that uh, went with, again, more blast from the past for you. You didn't ask for it, but here we are. One of the women that uh, um, accompanied us on our group could see into the spirit realm and see the demons that were around us all and could see the spirit of rebellion and the spirit of Jezebel uh, trying to infiltrate our hearts and our souls. Like literally, she said she could see it. And that's what Lance Wall now is. That's what Joel Webin is. That these people are deluded. They're dangerous. And if they were just on a street corner standing on, a, on, a, on an apple crate. It would be one thing, but these people have a platform. These people have an audience that are, that are champing at the bit for this information because they believe it comes straight from God. They do believe that these people are a conduit to the creator of everything seen and unseen. And that is dangerous because if you can convince people to do horrible things and justify it using their belief in their particular mythology, that's a problem. Anyway, uh, I'd love to know what you think. I'd love it if there's some Joel Webin or Lance Wallnow fans out there. You can comment below, take your chances there. You can also more anonymously um, call, leave me a voicemail, 714-576-4054. Of course, you can email me daily at dollamore.com. If you are not a Lance Wall now or Joel Webin fan and you want to help support this work, help me make these videos, help me produce this content, click the join button below, become a channel member for $2 a month. Go to my Patreon page, patreon.com slash I doubt it podcast. And uh, I'll see you next time. Until then, be genuine. Take care of one another.